Part of what makes the KeyGuard system so unique is that it's non-penetrating. And what that means is that uh, you put this up on your roof and it doesn't uh, break through the roof membrane. And that's really important when you have uh, roof membranes that are made out of plastic or some sort of uh, material that requires it to be sealed. You don't want to have to drill or screw or penetrate the roof membrane in any way whatsoever. And so the key guard, this is one of the counterbalances for the key guard fall protection system. This is a 35 pound weight that is used in conjunction with some of the other weights to provide a counterbalance to the, um, to the uprights. Now this is really important piece in the uh, non-penetrating aspect of our fall protection system. What you'll notice is that on the bottom of this counterbalance there's a, a protective uh, coating that you have here so that when you put this down on your roof surface it's not going to break through and so your roof stays completely protected by uh, what's here on the bottom. This is a, one of the fittings that's used in our KeyGuard fall protection system. This is the part, this is the fitting that receives the upright and this end extends out to the counterbalances where the weights are. Now, you'll notice another unique thing about this fitting is it has this protective roof membrane on the bottom. And so what this does is it protects your roof from the fitting so that the fitting does not cut into your roof in any way. These are the primary components that you'll receive uh, when assembling a key guard fall protection system. Now, what you'll notice about these components is that many of them are already pre-assembled. Like this upright. This is the upright. This is the D return, already pre-assembled. Now, what pre-assembly means for you is that it can take two untrained men only eight hours to, as to assemble 600 linear feet of railing. These are the rails for our key guard fall protection system. The rails and the uprights are made of galvanized schedule 40 steel. That means it's going to resist rust and it's going to last for a very long time. 